When I met him, I was like, oh my goodness, this guy is really fast. He loves speed, right? Fast cars, fast motorbikes and everything. Not But fast he... intimacy. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> Hi, I'm Ginny. I'm the one who runs four trimesters and everything in front of the show. And I'm Andrew, the husband, and、uh, I do a whole lot of other things in the background. <laughs> I would say that's me. <laughs> Did you say me? I said me.、Oh. <laughs> you meant me. Okay. <laughs> So for women, most people consider the doulas like a personal trainer or wedding planner, where it's like this is where I am right now, pregnant, and I need to get to the finish line. And the finish line is having a healthy baby and a healthy mother. And then when they look at the path, they kind of go like, "Ooh, okay, I either have a cesarean or have a vaginal birth, both of which are not very attractive options." <laughs> Then they go, "Oh, we have a problem." Right, like I need to get to the finish line, feeling good, feeling healthy, and and starting, but I don't know what to do. So then they engage somebody to actually help them through the childbirth process. So people come to us firstly for childbirth education, and then they might decide to what I call upsize and say, you know what? Now that I'm educated and I know what I'm in for, I would like a coach to coach me through this process. And a lot of guys would refer to us as project managers or the football coach. <laughs> Kind of thing, right? Where when you are in the event, it's really very difficult to gain perspective. But when you have that person outside who has done this many times before and has that goal in mind, aligned to what you are trying to achieve, then they work with you to get you there. Was basically when they started, or Dularing was introduced to Singapore. There was only one company that was doing it, and of course, it was brought in by the foreigners. So they also started a training program to train people to be doulas. So I was in the second batch of training, if I'm not wrong. And of course, once you attend the training, the next question you ask is, where do I go from here, and what can I do, and things like that. So automatically, you assume you're going to join this. Company, right? And they're like, no, 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 no. You got to figure it out as to how you're gonna do this. So when we launched four trimesters, it was, you know, I still remember at night we were brainstorming the name. So I'm actually not the founder of four trimesters. It is、um, Amy Chin Atkins who now lives in Canberra, and she was the one where she founded the company. But within like three to six months, she had to leave because her husband was relocating for his job. But because I was the one who was most active, so I ended up, you know, taking over the entire company and just. You know, going along with that kind of thing, but it's funny because nobody thought we would succeed. Nobody thought anything about us, and then we turned out to be way more successful than the <laughs> primary company. So I got involved with the lady behind it first. <laughs> <laughs> I got involved with the company. So、uh, 2016, that's when I moved to Singapore. So.、Uh, So I was always around it. Let's make it very clear: I do not deliver babies. I'm certainly not at the business end of any of that. <laughs> With the business end behind the scenes. So, yeah, since 2016, I've been、uh, had my mind opened to the world of childbirth. <laughs> If I look at what does it mean to dare greatly, it means even you'll never get rid of fear, but even in the illusion of fear being in front of you, it's is if you trust yourself, believe in yourself, and most importantly, you appreciate yourself. That there's no better person to do this than yourself. Then you'll step in the ring. That's how I see it. So to to dare greatly is not to do it in the absence of fear, but to know that there is fear, to feel it and do it anyway, because that's that's living. That's the true experience of life. I feel the same way where we're talking about courage, right?、Mm. And and that's where it's really the ability to express oneself. So daring greatly is just being able to to find that courage. And of course, you know, as Brene Brown would say, in the face of courage, you have to be 
vulnerable and have that ability to to be able to express yourself that way. Yeah.